glad to have you on this edition of Newsline. It's April 7th, 8 a.m. in Tokyo. I'm Catherine Kobayashi. At the disaster hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the operator has begun injecting nitrogen gas into the containment vessel of one of the reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the injection is aimed at preventing hydrogen from exploding inside the containment vessel at the number one reactor. It says the actual injection began a little after 1.30 a.m. Japan time on Thursday. The fuel rods inside the reactor are nearly half exposed as coolant water has not yet risen high enough. It's thought that hydrogen and oxygen have been generated as a result of the reaction between water and the zirconium alloy that covers the fuel. Hydrogen can also be generated when radiation dissolves water molecules. Nitrogen gas does not react with hydrogen and is chemically stable. TEPCO says the injection will continue for six days. The company is also considering making similar injections in the number two and three reactors. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency warns that the nitrogen gas injection could cause gases, including radioactive substances, to leak outside the reactor containment vessel. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was damaged by the earthquake and tsunami on March 11th. On the following day, hydrogen that accumulated in the number one reactor building exploded. That blowed off the roof and walls. Two days later, a similar hydrogen blast occurred at the number three reactor building.